We grew up playing video games and playing with physical stuff like blocks and Legos. Both of these types of play are so fun that we just thought maybe there's a way to put these two things together. Mobile phones and handhelds and portable game systems are like truly amazing, but we really felt the need to bring something to the world that was just more tactile and more physical, less virtual, and just more human. Siftio cubes are fantastic. They're a, a new way of thinking about playing games. I think what's interesting about the, the Siftio cubes is that they're completely unique. No one else is doing anything like it. As a paper game designer, I found working with Siftio a unique experience. The Siftio cubes are really powerful devices. They can talk to one another. They have this range of interface which you can leverage. You're not just dealing with a discrete input of hitting buttons, or you're actually picking something up and doing something to it, which is just a very primal way of interacting with something. It's a, an incredibly rare opportunity for designers to have a new design environment to work with, particularly one where the um, paradigm is, is so radically different. My job is to get the most out of Siftio cubes. I look at them and I say, there's some really cool games in there. I don't quite know what they are, but it's going to take the, a lot of people's imagination to really bring out the best. We don't have the monopoly on creativity here at Siftio, so we have been convinced ever since the beginning that we got to get this system out with an SDK so other people can build games on top of it. One thing that really excites me about this new SDK is that we've been able to release it for all three major desktop operating systems. Applications for Siftio cubes are developed in C++. This allows us to retain a reasonably high-level language. We've also uh, prided ourselves on making some great documentation and great guides. We created the Siftio Virtual Machine, a platform that lets you write code that runs natively, but with virtual memory, with security. We have a simulator that is cycle accurate for the cubes, literally models the processor in the cube. So when you write something in the simulator, it works on hardware. I think the SDK is awesome. I think the documentation is really good. It's very pro. Between the API documentation and the examples that they provide, I can answer sort of most of the questions that I run into. An SDK that has all of this information freely available and that is easy to get set up is something that's pretty unique in the world of game development. We're reaching out to developers all over the world to make great Siftio game experiences. We want to help them take their awesome concepts and make them into fully realized games that they can share with everybody. What really got us excited was just the fact that we saw a whole new realm of possibility that we didn't understand. And I have a feeling that uh, we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what sort of games are possible with Siftio Cubes. So designers, developers, download our SDK and make something. And if you want to share it with the rest of the world, contact us. We'll be happy to help.